Hello there, welcome to the video, and in this lesson we're going to be going over a string skip tap arpeggio lick. So here it is. <laughs> So the hardest thing about this lick is going to be the position shape, it's going to be the string skipping and obviously the muting as well. But in terms of the left hand shapes, it's fairly it's fairly conventional. So with that said, we're going to be uh, we're going to be starting on the 12th fret of the of the first string. So we're going to be tap start with a tap like that and then we're going to be pulling off to 4 like that and then hammering on to 7 like that. So we should have this. Nothing too scary so far. So once we've finished there, we're going to do a, do a string skip over the fourth, uh, fourth string and then we're going to be tapping 14 on the third string like that, pulling off to 6, hammering on to 9. So we should have both of these patterns. Like that. And we play those ideas once. Then what we're going to do, we're going to skip it. So we're, again, we're going to be doing that string skipping again. So once we've finished here, we're just going to go straight over to the first string and then tap the 12th fret, pull off to five, and then hammer onto the ninth fret. So all three together. Like that. So I'll do it once more. Hopefully that makes sense. And then what we're going to do, we're going to sort of, so once we've finished on that that portion of the arpeggio, we're then we're going to tap on 10. So we're going to, you know, reach in for the suspended fourth in this case. You know, and then it's going to be, so we're going to tap there, pull off to nine, like that, and then pull off to five. So all the shapes together. So we play all the, those ideas once. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to come back down the arpeggio, but a little bit different though. So instead we're going to tap 12, 12 on the on the third string, and then pull off to 9, then it'll be 6, and then we're going to tap 12, pull off to 7, pull off to 4 like that. So the whole arpeggio together. I'll do that once more. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's basically the whole idea. Um, and the, if you're practicing this in real life, you, you play that figure twice. Uh, and the chord it outlines is kind of like dominant, you know, like dominant seventh with a suspended fourth as well. It's quite nice. You know. Very nice sound, I think. So that's the whole first first section. Uh, and then... The second section is very is very similar, but all we all we do is just position shift two frets. So rather than starting here, we shift all the way here. So we're now we're in B. So we're gonna tap. So this is gonna start with the fourteenth fret, like that on that string, and then we're gonna pull off to six, and then hammer on to nine like that. So we just got this. Again, we play that idea once. Uh, so then we skip over over the fourth string and we tap sixteen. Pull off to eight, then hammer on to eleven. So both those ideas together. We play those ideas once, so it might be good to kind of just like pra practice going between the strings and getting used to the string skipping. Um, so anyway, once we finish there, uh, we then you know do the string skipping again and. Um, and then we tap, so we tap 14, so we tap 14, pull off to seven, hammer on to 11, like that. So all three together. Like that. So as you can see, it's kind of similar intervallic, um, you know, intervallic fashion as the other one. And then we're going to kind of do that suspended fourth action once again. So, but this time it's going to be on the 12th fret. So once we're finished here, we're going to go like this. So it's going to be 12, 11, 7, like that. And then we're just going to come back down in, in that similar fashion as before. So it's going to be hitting the 14th fret here. 14, 11, 8, like that. So hitting that dominant 7th. And then just coming back down the arpeggio. 
we're doing it like that. Um, we and we do this figure twice in a row, so it'll look like this very slowly. <laughs> Chord it outlines a kind of sort of outline, you know. So you know this sort of thing. Cool sound again. Uh, so that's kind of you know if you're playing that in real life, you play that figure twice as well, like like the previous one. So that's that one, and then the final one is going to be in C. So that's going to be virtually identical with it with um, with a little change. So. Here we're just going to tap 15, pull off to 7, and then hammer on to 10 like that. So we're the same thing as before. Skip over the 4th string, and then but uh, tap 17 of the 3rd string, pull off to 9, hammer on to 12. So we have these pans. Like that. Hopefully that makes sense. And then, so what we've got here, once we've finished there, uh, we're then going to tap on the 17th fret of the of the first string. So we're still doing that string skip, and we're tapping a slightly different note. So we're going to be tapping 17, pulling off to 8, and then hammering that 12 like that. So all three together. Like that. Nice sound on that. Nice sound there, actually. And then we're just going to be similar thing as before. So we're going to be tapping 13, pulling off to 12, pull off to 8 like that. So again, we're getting that suspended fourth. And then the same same thing as before. So 15, um, 15, and then 12, 9, and then back down the arpeggio where you can. Like that. So we're still getting that kind of um, dominant 7th sus 4 thing. Like that. So I'll play it. You know, consecutively, like I play it as if we're practicing it in real life. And that's it. We just end on that note there. Uh, that's the whole thing. So I'm going to go straight from the... I'll go from the beginning, um, as if like you know. So I'll do the figures as if we're practicing them all consecutively, and then we'll just finish up from there. That's it. That's the that is the whole passage. So in terms of the chords, um, it's just kind of like it's again. It's just gonna be like that. So if you kind of gonna do them in order, look like that, and then we got, and then if you want the C chord. So I've got this little progression really. Quite odd. I like it though. It's cool. So there we go. Hopefully you found that lesson useful and informative and it's something you can apply in your own playing. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos and lessons. Thanks very much. See you very soon.